Hey everybody, second video today. Wow. I want to first off say a few things. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you, Simon, uh, for inviting me to this uh, radio show that we did today. It's paranormal uh, radio show, talk show. And um, I had a blast. I mean, uh, I wanted to thank Simon and I wanted to thank Joe. Uh, Joe's the owner of Mid Ulster Community Radio. So he's the owner, so I wanted to thank him. Um, and um, I didn't get a chance to thank Simon because he cut, his, <clears throat> cut me off because he had, I guess, some personal things to talk with, uh, with Miriam. But this lady that I that we were talking to today is well known uh, in Europe I guess mostly in Europe she does some work in the US um, and um, I had a blast um, I uh, the way the way she does it um, is she takes a picture of whoever you want to talk to in the spirit world you know me I'm skeptical, you know. Um, so I didn't give her any information because I thought, well, let's see if she can really do this, right? So um, I uh, purposely didn't give her any information. I just sent the picture to Simon. Simon sent it to her. Simon, we were all on Skype, and um, so. Simon called me, so I had to send it to Simon. Simon sent it to, because he was the, the head uh, deal, you know, which is cool. Uh, so he sent it to her. And oh my God, she was so spot on. And wow, how did she know this? Unless she was physically in tune with the spirit world. How did she do it? I was so fascinated on how she could physically speak to my dad that's been passed on for five years. And he's surrounded with, with my family that's been passed on. And she knew it. She knew the right things to say. And... Oh my gosh! I immediately thought of, of uh, Axe Moose. I wish Axe was there because he could have had a chance to maybe speak to his mother. Uh, and it was just so flippin' fascinating. And I want to thank Simon for inviting me. Uh, he is awesome. I mean, um, wow. Um, I can't get over this you know this has been about an hour ago you know we had I don't know what was it one hour two hours something like it is like it went by like that you know and um, there was another lady on there named Stacy um, and um, she knew things as well there was a, a, a couple of ladies with Simon one of them was his wife and the other one was a name Paula and they knew stuff. They knew stuff as well because they're mediums as well. And they knew stuff that I didn't give them that information. No one knew that information. My dad is the only one that could have gave that to them. Because when I sent the picture to Simon, he pulled it up on his computer and they saw his picture or he printed it out. I don't know how they were looking at it. Um, I know the lady in uh, England uh, was looking at it over on the computer. So, um, and uh, immediately that lady spoke up and said, uh, said some things that, wow, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't get over saying just wow. Um, the other ladies with Simon were terrific. How they knew that, I, I, I don't know how they do what they do. Um, 
I'm sorry I haven't shaved. Um, I'm fascinated over those sort of things. Uh, God, I wish you all you guys would have could have been there and seen the 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 wow factor. Uh, God, I just can't get over. It. Thank you, Simon, for inviting me. Uh, wow, what an awesome dude you are, man. Um, I don't know how many people was listening to the show. Uh, Joe couldn't get a figure on how many people were listening. But uh, I want to say thanks for all who was there and was listening. I wish more people would have emailed questions, uh, but we didn't get any. But um, we had a good time, and I hope maybe we can keep this up. Maybe next month do another one. Um, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just fascinated with things of that nature. That's right down my alley, you might say. I'm sorry, I'm, we're not having an earthquake. I'm just shaking the, the whole camera thing. Ah. Uh, fantastic. Um. So, uh. And physically, my dad could hear me. According to what this lady was saying. And I asked him, I said, well, you need to come visit me, you know, six months before it's my turn to come and she, he acknowledged it so I'm certain that he will do that uh, like he did he had six months to get his stuff in order and I'm sure it was his mother that came to him after what she questioned it you know after she asked my dad you know uh, who was it that was uh, that come to you and told you and she took it was my grandmother so that's my that's her uh, my dad's uh, mother and um, wow it was just it was just so much fun and, and so much uh, I'm not a skeptic anymore uh, a good medium knows exactly what to say and what to do and they are really in tune I was on a radio show it was like a three hour wait or something like that and he didn't get nothing right you know so I hung up and that made me a very skeptic thing you know a very skeptic person and like you know there's something that you know I thought maybe that they might pick up on you know some you know ask me questions you know and keep asking questions you know and and then they would make a synopsis but this lady didn't ask me squat need either three of them didn't ask me squat I've, I've got to I've got to say that Simon's wife was spot on it was either Simon's wife or uh, Paula, a lady named Paula. I don't know. I don't know which one. But they were just right on the money. I mean, all three of them. I think all three wrote it down. And uh, how they knew that, I, I don't. Unless they were in tune. So it makes me very happy that, yeah, my dad knows that I'm still thinking of him. You know, it, it makes it uh, knowing that that I had a way to communicate with him. Starting to tear up here. <clears throat> Be right back. I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, I think I better quit this before I start really bawling on here. And, um, but it was great. So, thank you, Simon, um, for the invitation. It was a, uh, 
No, that's where he's at. It was a life-changing thing for me. So, very interesting. And, um, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> me and my dad was close. And, uh, so, um, I'm going to be doing a show with uh, Joe tomorrow. Uh, music, you know, music. Um, so, um, anyway, gang, um, I hope you guys are doing well. I know I am today. I'm, I'm a happy camper today. These are happy tears, not, um, not sad ones. You know, it's it's like um, you know, Axe I think said it best. Miss you, mom. Well, I miss my dad. He's I miss my mother too. My mother suffered a lot. So, um, gang, take care and God bless you all. See you later.